Okay, there we go. Whoa, look how trippy that looks, y'all. So this is not on Twitch, as in we're not streaming this chat. Chat, listen to me. YouTube, YouTube. I'm so used to streaming. Uh, we're just, we have time to kill. We have to see, like, who goes live first, pretty much, right? For those who do not know, we have a, um, what is it called? Nintendo Direct Mini. Right there. All right, I guess it's only here. Yep, all right, we'll use this one. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our first Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. So let's let's we'll get it, boys. the latest information about upcoming Nintendo Switch games from our development and publishing partners. More videos in this series will be released this year. So okay. please stay tuned. That's good. Okay. In the next five let's months, we'll get more, headlines. in other words. Keep stepping to the beat with new That's content. awesome. As someone who's never played Crypt of the Necro Dancer or Cadence of Hyrule, Hyrule, that's awesome. Necro Dancer featuring the Legend of Zelda game. Now with three additional DLC packs. That's really cool. Pack one, character pack. Five newly added characters. Gerudo Valley? Impa excels in ranged attacks with the Naginata. Take that was a spear, sir. Aria, and it's game over. With these characters, can take your musical journey for a new spin. That's a lot of characters. Pack two, melody pack. Thirty-nine songs will be added, including remixed Thirty-nine of the background music. Holy shit! You can Family that explains the metal. That's you awesome. To your favorite songs while journeying through Hyrule. Pack three, additional story content. Symphony of the Map. There's story in Crypt of the Metro and venture through a brand new map. With new songs and a new story. That's awesome. Plus, he has the power to change abilities based on the masks he dons. Oh, that's so cool. In these strange lands. DLC Pack 1 Character Pack will be available for purchase later today. With the second and third DLC packs to be released. That's awesome. The end that's of really cool. Spike Shudsoft works on that or publishes it? No, that's Nintendo. That's weird. Nadia, yeah, maybe Spike Shudsoft was the original publisher? never stepped to Hyrule's Peak before. You can get the rhythm going when a version of the game containing all the DLC launches October 23rd. We'll probably put a Crypt of the Necrodancer in my Season 2 then. Save the day and look stylish while you're at it in Rogue Company. In what? I, I apologize if my nose, by the way. I was just sneezing a lot before I started this video. So I can't say I am particularly interested in these first few minutes yet. <coughs> oh. A new rogue is infiltrating the battlefield. Lay waste to your what? with an arsenal of weapons what? and abilities in this online multiplayer third-person shooter. Clash with other players in competitive and casual Is it free to play? Or rise to the challenge against AI opponents that surely bring the heat. If you fall in battle, your teammates can revive you, letting you. <coughs> You'll notice it said the team kill there. Cross platform play and cross progression are also supported from day one, along with support for motion controlled aiming. Is this a game that's uh, look out for lots of content, already out then? Skins, rogues, and more. Stay tuned for more information. Oh, it's high res. That's probably free. Company. I probably won't like it. Straight up, I'll, I'll level with y'all. Brawl without limits. WWE 2K Battleground. What, what, what happened to John Cena's face? Oscar! She always cute. Parties and Andres. I need to start watching WWE again, y'all. That's what I think. Like, I can see cute ass Oscar. I think that's uh, not him, the other gentleman with the like gray dread thing. I'm pretty sure that's Kofi, and if it is, it makes sense to have it because isn't he involved in a up, up, down, down? I want a rematch. 
because I don't think that's Xavier, but I honestly don't remember what any of these people look like. I haven't watched WWE and I don't watch Up Up Down Down. How is everything? This next one will be our last announcement. Wow. Holy shit. That's very shit. Are we getting SMT5 news? Shit. No. No, wait. Persona? No. SMT? Yeah, that's Nocturne. Is this about SMT5 or is Nocturne coming to the Switch? How are we getting Nocturne on the Switch before SMT5 news? What the, the fuck? That loses its power what? Will fade into nothing. This gives me such an easy way to play Nocturne I now. I can invite you to the world that is to come. This was a game I wanted to play it's soon. It's been a while since we last met you. Or should I say, Demi? <laughs> Demons. This place is crawling with them. You have done very well in keeping yourself alive. The world will fall for its sins, and everyone living will vanish. Man, I and like old SMT art, like old Tokyo SMT died. slash Persona when it was basically and SMT, which is why at first I thought it was Persona. Because I was like, oh shit, it looked like Persona 1 and 2. That's... SMT5 news? They fucking acknowledged it. Date? Date window? Concept? Okay. It's an actual trailer! I've been waiting for this for so long. It's not dead, it's actually not dead. Oh, wow, that's weird. By weird, I mean very SMT. <laughs> so does this have, like, a surname, or is it SMT5? It has a release window! A simultaneous world. Now we finally got news. Holy shit. Oh my god. Yo. That's all for today's Nintendo Yo. Direct Mini Partner Showcase. This was totally worth watching. it. 100% worth it. Look forward to more Partner Showcase presentations coming this year. Oh my god. No, fuck everything in this Direct except that onwards. But, um, like I was saying... I never played Persona 1 and 2, I just know the art is like identical art to SMT because Persona 3, when Katsura took over, it's um, kind of when Persona went through its like rebranding and was way less SMT than the first two were. From what I know of the first two, I never actually played the first two Personas. I only played the Katsura trilogy. Um, but holy shit, dude. That's actually fucking godlike. We actually did it. Not only do we get, I get to play Nocturne, finally, I get fucking, now that I think about it, it said the Nocturne HD remaster was in spring 2021, I would assume that SMT5 would come out after that, because that would only make sense, so that gives me a concept idea of where, when SMT5 will come out in 2021. AKA not spring, probably closer to, uh, I don't even know. We'll just assume holiday 2021, just for the sake of not setting unrealistic expectations. It might even get delayed further. But holy shit, that's awesome. Holy fuck. That's so cool, we finally did it. Um, so I don't really have anything else, like at all here. We watched it, it was in fact very short. Was it even 10 minutes? It didn't feel like it, but it might have been. I don't know. 
thank you all for clicking on this video if you did. Feel free to check out my Twitch and my Twitter. Uh, specifically the Twitch, I'd love to see all of you on stream with me sometime. Um, we stream like every day, just about. Right now it's a little shaky because of reasons that uh, I haven't talked about yet. We'll probably talk about that on the stream next time I stream. Um, but, yeah. Thank you all. I kind of love all of you. And let me know what your thoughts on this are. Let me know how hyped you are for SMT 3 and 5. Very weird that it's 3. It's awesome to see, but I guess it makes sense because Nocturne's kind of like the critically acclaimed one. Or critically acclaimed. SMT still cult as fuck. Um, and I was going to say, because SMT 4 is the most recent, like 4 and 4 Apocalypse. But 4 is like a very divisive game for people. I personally love 4. A lot of people do not like 4. But still i should stop before i get sidetracked forever but thank you all i love all of you and i'll see you on stream or the next youtube video which either or i don't know see you all there Bye.